Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this Wednesday. It is April 26th, and we're off to a good start this morning. We had a good, good Tuesday. Look good. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures pleasant. We reached a high of 77 officially yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened uh, a little bit after 3.30. And 72 is where we should be on average, so we were 5 degrees above average for a high temperature yesterday. 50 was our low, 49 the average, so that's just one degree difference. One year ago, we had a high of 84 and a low of 57 back in 2016. No rainfall, of course, yesterday, holding at 4.04 for the month of April. That puts us ahead by around a half inch. Good. That's good, keeping on pace for April. Year to date, though, we're still showing a deficit of just over an inch, about an inch and a tenth or so. Not bad. I think we can go several more days without rain, without any worries as far as staying on pace where we should. But there is more rain in the forecast, several rounds of rain, actually. And the first one comes very late tonight, around midnight and early tomorrow morning but today will be breezy and warmer Uh, clouds will start to approach from our west but overall sunshine and we're going to go with 85 85 today then southwest winds at 15 gusting to 30 this afternoon so it is going to pick up and become quite breezy Tonight, we're looking at a 60% chance of thunderstorms developing late tonight as a cold front makes its way into the area. There is a severe weather risk just to our west, but by the time that line reaches us, about uh, 12 midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, it should be weaker, although there could be a few strong thunderstorms out of that. Of course, Shane will be here overnight if uh, anything does pop up, you'll know. You'll see it on uh, uh, Twitter, Facebook. He'll pop in if he has to, but hopefully these won't be severe. We'll get down to 62 with those thunderstorms. And still a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms on Thursday, cooler as that front slides by 73. Now that same cold front is going to stall down in the Tennessee Valley and then return northward as a warm front. As we get into Friday, Friday is starting to look like it could be a bit more active than what we were looking at just yesterday. As that warm front lifts north, showers and thunderstorms developing Friday afternoon and Friday night, 82, and now there is a slight risk of severe thunderstorms for Friday evening into very early Saturday morning. <laughs> it, it At first, it looked like it was just going to be a few scattered thunderstorms. Now, the Storm Prediction Center is saying, well, this, this looks like it has a little bit better dynamics with it than we were first looking at, and therefore, we're going to, we're going to put uh, southern Kentucky in a slight risk area. So that's been added in for Friday afternoon or a Friday night, early Saturday. Now, as we get into Saturday, that that will die down. And as the system stalls again to our north, we're going to be in that warm sector, breezy and warm Saturday. We're going to go with 87, making it the hottest day of the year if we hit that. With uh, the warm front just to our north and then the area of low pressure, a good deep area of low pressure and a strong cold front moving in, as we get ready for Sunday. We've talked about Sunday being a severe weather day, and it still looks that way. 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms likely Sunday, and it does appear that we will be in uh, some active severe weather that day, 83. Southwest winds at 15. That system finally pulls out Monday, first day of May, Monday, Partly sunny, 66, much cooler, because we go from 83 to 66, and that's a big change. So a very strong cold front coming in 
Uh, 74 and mostly sunny by next Tuesday, the 2nd of May. So we've got some active days ahead. Enjoy today. We'll be breezy, warm. You'll think it's uh, not June, but maybe July (laughs) or early August. Crazy, crazy warm. And then we've got to watch uh, for these rounds of thunderstorms and the uh, now uh, a couple of threats of possible strong to severe thunderstorms as we get into the next couple of days. In the meantime, know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later today, if you get a chance, tune in to my radio show, Classic Hits, Sam 100.7 between 3 and 7 p.m. Have a great day and God bless.